Perhaps the most important thing when you look at trying to think about the changes that you can make are not necessarily the changes that are very obvious, but the things that you don't think about. And with food, hidden calories represents probably the biggest challenge that people have on a day-to-day -day basis. And historically, you know, we ate very simply. We had water at the table. We, we uh, tended to have very simple foods, but as things get more complex and the quality of our options improves, so do the hidden calories. And perhaps there's no better example than coffee. You know, there are now something like 13,000 Starbucks across the US. A simple espresso without any milk is about a calorie. But if I were to have something like a latte with plain, straightforward whole milk, it's about 200 calories. And if I move towards a mocha, then you're having nearly 400 calories if it's made with whole milk. To put that in context, a latte or cappuccino is about the same number of calories as a chocolate bar and a mocha about two chocolate bars. That gives you the option of a simple choice. You can either have an espresso or you can have a latte. You can either have whole milk or you can have 2% because the benefit of 2% fat is that a mocha goes from about 400 calories to 200 calories and a latte or cappuccino goes from 200 calories to 60 calories. And we might be having three or four of these coffees a day without uh, thinking about it. And then there's iced coffees and frappes and milkshakes, all huge amounts of calories. And then when we do tend to have a coffee, we might have a piece of uh, cake or something like a piece of banana bread as a treat. And so whereby the latte might be 400 calories and that's without sugar. That's without even adding any sugar. That's purely from the sugar that's in the milk. If we add a piece of banana bread, then perhaps another six or 700 calories on top. So in total, Having a coffee and a piece of banana bread might be about a thousand calories, which is for a lot of people about maybe half or more than half of their total daily requirement. And to put it in perspective, if you want to walk the energy off, then a kilometer burns about 80 calories. So a mocha might be somewhere like a five kilometer walk. If you add a piece of banana bread, then you're looking at around 13 or 14 kilometers just to burn off something that took two or three minutes to consume. So next time you're having a coffee and you're thinking about your options, just think about the choices that you have. Do you go with less milk? Do you get rid of the sugar? Do you go with a smaller cup? Because if you're doing that a few times a day, making a small difference repeatedly over the course of a week, a month, a year, will have a massive impact. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe to the channel so that I can keep you up to date as all the new videos come online.